What is up guys and welcome back to the GM Low Life. All right, guys, so what's going down today is um, the truck is already ready with Chris Benson, the OBS. We're going to go pick it up. So, ya está lista la OBS. Ya le hicieron las bolsas de enfrente. Vamos a ir a recogerla. El compa Montana vino a recogernos para darnos un ride. So, vámonos para allá. All right, guys, so el compa Montana apenas vino a recogernos. Ahí está la OBS de en la que fuimos a HPT. So, let's go ahead and pick up my brother's OBS to see how it came out with the bags in the front. All right. Alright, so ya vamos llegando aquí con el compa Chris. Vamos a ver ya cómo quedó la OBS. Y aquí le traemos otro proyectito del compa Montana. Ojalá si todo vaya bien. Mira, ya no, yo le en vergas. Si todo va bien, también vamos a dejar esta. No vamos a estar explicando mucho de esta porque vamos a hacer otro video para que miren con el compa que le estamos haciendo. Pero aquí vamos llegando con Chris. Vamos a ver cómo quedó. For sure. How you doing, man? Good, good, yeah. good. Yeah. What's going on, bro? So at the end, where'd you end up um, putting the switch? Uh, the switch is on the dash. We, oh, had okay. enough, we had enough room instead of the back. Oh, right, for sure. Uh, it, it's hooked up to the light, so it glows that extensive logo. You want to show us how it works? And shit? Yeah, yeah. Um, let me back it up, or you want me to do it on this side? However, however, it don't matter. Yeah. All right, check it out. All right, let's see. So it just switch. It's extensive metalwork switch. Oh, okay. You get the lights on. All oh, right. It glows with the light. That's badass. And uh, Under, under there and shit. They're under there, they're on a piece of uh, two by two. We got a flat plate and we bent it down. Oh, okay. So the tanks and compressors are all together. Let's see. Let's see if I can check it out. Okay. And then, uh, all right, what is up, guys? So we finally picked up the truck on the cool guys. That shit looks sick. It came out badass. Right now I'm driving it. Overall, she drives hella badass. She drives smooth and everything. And it's pretty dope because um, we were talking about how everything came out and shit. And um, it used to have more of a little tight turn back then. And now it has more of a turn. I'm able to turn a little bit more. But overall, she came out sick, guys. Right now, let's go ahead, pull up to the house, show y'all exactly what he did. And um, yeah, guys, this is coming out sick. We're trying to see right now if we could go get a, a quote for the paint. But I'm not too sure because um, the guy that we want to paint it, which is here in town, I think he might be a little bit busy. But right now we're going to see what's up. Hopefully he replies and, and we'll go we'll go check that out también de una vez. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead, drive home, and and, and right now we'll show y'all everything, how it came out. guys so unfortunately the guy that we want to paint this truck he wasn't there right now um he said he'll be there later on so we didn't get the quote but um right now we're gonna go ahead pull up on my brother he's already out of work we're gonna go ahead put up on my brother and see his reaction what he thinks of the truck how it came out we're right here down the street so let's go ahead and pull up yeah I thought Guys, y'all leave what y'all think in the 
comments below so we can fill out the new defender. The, this one is clean. The other one, uh, ya la llevamos filling up with people's names. So dejen lo que piensan de la Dooley para llenar el Fender con sus nombres aquí abajo. Y ahorita les voy a explicar qué exactamente agarramos. It's just a little, right now I'll be explaining exactly what we got. It's just a little back setup, nothing crazy. Just simple. So the front can level out with the back once we park it. So let's go ahead and show y'all right now. Cuando pienso que amé con locura A una joven mujer muy bonita La traición que se esconde en el alma El difícil que pueda admirar Solo ves cuando tu alma perdida Alright guys, so we just picked up the truck. We already showed my brother and it came out super clean. We're gonna show y'all more or less what it has. It's, it's nothing too crazy, just something clean and simple up and down in the front. Uh, we wanna give a big shout out to Chris Vinton, CB Chassis. Make sure to follow him on Instagram. Hit him up for any work. Um, he is right now gonna be extending his shop a little bit bigger. So he did say he will be taking more work. But as of right now, he is booked. And if you're willing to go to him, you have to be willing to pay the price because He's not, he's not a person that's, that's too cheap, but his work is, is overall badass work. So let's go ahead, show you how it works, and then just a little bag setup that we installed on the OBS. All right guys, so inside is the little switch. Um, he located it right here, excuse the mess. He located it right here. It's a little extensive metal work switch down, and then up right there. As you can see, it's already going up. Um, but that's basically how it works, just up and down. Right there, little clean switch. We like how he located it right here. Kind of made it look factory. Now, let's go ahead, show y'all where the, under the back of the truck is where the, what is it, the compressors and the air tank is. He did run by air compressors, which are some pretty dope um, compressors. So let's go ahead and look back there to see how it is. All right guys, so here's like the little bracket of how everything is. As you can see right here is one compressor. Here's the other compressor and then right here the air tank. So it's nice and clean. Everything's done right. And then right here is holding off of this, um, this big bracket from one side to the other. But overall it's super clean. You can see right there everything nice. Alright guys and it's kind of hard to get the camera in there. But you can see the bag right here. And then the shock was relocated right there. The bag is in there. It's kind of hard to get in there to see. But that's basically it, the little setup, nothing too crazy. Right there is not fully aired up, but it is aired up. And then right now I'm gonna show y'all how it looks once we hit it down. All right guys, so let's go ahead, hit it down real quick. And there it is guys, fully aired out. All right, she came out sick. As you can see now, it's like perfectly leveled. Look at that shit. That shit looks sick as fuck. Oh, and one more thing we also did. Remember, we had we have the, the holes in the back of the bed shaved off. These right here. And to give it that extra touch, we just went ahead and we shaved the antenna as well. Right there. But there it is, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Looks dope. Okay. All right, guys. So that's how it is. Remember, make sure to... Um, to what's it called um leave down in the comment section below what you think of the truck and um leave down in the comment section below what you think of the truck so we can finish filling out this whole fender guys overall this shit looks sick though let me know what y'all think once again big shout out to chris vincent he really he really outdid himself it looks clean and simple 
like we said up front nothing too crazy just a little a little clean quick bank setup and the turnaround time was fast he finished it in three days all right guys so we just pulled up i already explained to y'all more or less um what we did remember leave down in the comment section below what you think and right here with my brother so what did you think cuts it came out pretty dope, that's what I wanted, like, I didn't really like that fucking Cali, I never really did that shit, so, it's not my style. Alright guys, and just so you guys know, this guy is picky as fuck, so, finally it came out the way he wanted, and now, we're one step closer once again to the paint, so hopefully here soon we'll be going to get that quote, to see what exactly and who is going to be painting the truck. Alright guys, this is it, this concludes the vlog guys. Remember, don't forget, shop the gmlowlife.bigcartel.com. Get this sticker or this sticker. Get a chance to win a custom TD panel or some custom pillars. And let us know in the comments down below what y'all think of how the dually looks now that it's bagged up front. And it's your boy, the GM Low Life, guys. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.